Namaste, my Phoenicians. Hi, it's Case. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. Divine Masculine and the Comet. I bet you thought we forgot about you, boo. No, no, no. Come on, contre. You got a speaking French up in this bitch. Yes, it's your time. It's your time. Okay. Energy. Energy for divine masculine. Oh, we have two. We have security in the reverse and healer. So this is telling me that during these trying times, as the planet is trying to cleanse and raise its consciousness, Divine Masculine finds himself in a situation where his security, his stability, his home situation is on its head. His home situation is doing a break dance in his life. Divine Masculine is trying to heal himself by any means necessary. Divine Masculine mm -hmm. is hoping that somebody will come and save his ass. Who gonna do that? Gonna do that. Energy for the karmic during these trying times. Okay. The karmic is trying to in, um, trying to put boundaries in place. It's as though the, the karmic is getting some kind of spiritual download to show them the light. We will soon see what kind of light is being shown in the comic's life. And the base on the base of the deck, concealment. So they both are hiding secrets from each other. They both have a path that they're wanting to take, but they're both covering their intentions. Thank God for my hazmat suit of Brazilian weave and lycra. Let's go in. Energy for Divine Masculine. Three more, please. Energy for Divine Masculine. This one is your favorite. Energy for Divine Masculine. Energy for Divine Masculine. Thank you. Okay. Energy for the comic. Goodness, 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 everything's flipping and turning and twisting. Sorry. <laughs> I'll take it down a notch. Energy for the comic. One more, please. Thank you. Let's get into these peccadillos. Okay. At this moment in time, Divine Masculine is realizing that the love that he offered to a situation, he offered it to somebody who was extremely deceptive. This is somebody who painted a dream for the Divine Masculine was sold a dream. Oh my God. Oh God. Let's continue to go in. Make sure that. Right. Divine Masculine is realizing that there was an overindulgence in something that brought him into. What's happening with the camera? You see it sliding. Listen, Doppy, if his hair is a Doppy in here, leave my shizne alone. This is the last, is it the second to last day of Mercury retrograde? Be gone! Be gone! As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by a sliding camera. Hold on, let me get my juice in. I have to 
to get my vitamin C, keep my strength up to do their reading. Mm -hmm. As I was saying, Divine Masculine is realizing that was an, there was an overindulgent. This was in the reverse before. Nine of Cups in the reverse. The Nine of Cups in reverse is telling us that Divine Masculine is currently sitting in misery. Okay? He feels foolish from separate about separating from a love situation, a situation that he was extremely controlling with Emperor Energy. This is Aries. Okay? The Nine of Cups steps up with um, Jupiter as well as Pisces energy. Mm -hmm. We also have air energy here with the Seven of Swords. Okay, this is Moon and Aquarius energy. We also have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups shows up with water energy. Divine Masculine is realizing that he walked into a situation that he was not paying full attention to. Divine Masculine was offered or presented with pipe dreams. He's also finding himself to be with somebody who is extremely controlling. This person is constantly watching his every move. As to the karmic at this current time, this karmic still feels as though she is able to, she or he is able to attract what they want. Okay? They are still out there putting out their. Um, what kind of whatever illusion that they wish to portray they are still relying on their deceptive methods with the Capricorn devil card in, re in reversed in reversed in reverse this is telling us that there is violence and abuse in the situation that she finds she or he finds himself in with divine and divine masculine I believe that there is a lot of verbal abuse at this moment in time. A lot of cutting, whack, biting words going on. And at, at this moment in time, the karmic is looking to offer somewhere else. <laughs> Sorry, the music just made me feel like doing this. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yes. The energy on the base of the deck is the king of wands in reverse. At this moment in time, divine masculine is embodying the, em the energy, the energy, right, of somebody who is extremely indecisive. They are showing themselves to be a narcissist in full steed. Excuse me, I need some chocolate. I need, I need this sugar energy. It's tapping my ass. Mm -hmm. He is also. Dealing with codependent people, people that realize that they, that they can only grow if he is their water in their garden. Mm -hmm. How divine masculine is feeling right now? Divine masculine is, is trying to recreate. Sorry, the chocolate is getting in my corners. And the devil made me leave the water over there. One second. Right. Let's get into this again. So at this moment in time, Divine Masculine is looking for a creative way to bring happiness and pleasure into his life. Divine Masculine wants to sneak away to a new residence. Divine Masculine does not want to be in a situation where he is being overindulged. He feels as though he has no more emotion to offer to the situation. He is extremely unhappy. He feels as though he got into a situation with a thrill, see bleh, thrill seeker who had underlying issues of control. Divine Masculine is feeling right now. Divine Masculine feels stagnant and stuck with this Ten of Wands. He's wanting to move out of the situation, move to a different residence, move to somewhere where he can begin to 
to awaken, to uh, begin to grow. He's trying to move away from this, this um, skullduggerous nature. Yes, that's a word. Mm -hmm. We need to go in the urban dictionary, yes. <coughs> Mercury retrograde, release my throat chakra. <coughs> What's going on? Like I said, divine masculine feels stagnant and stuck and is unsure of how to release the burden that he has put up into his situation. He has little confidence in himself right now and he's not sleeping well at night. Mm -hmm. Constant thoughts, constant thinking going through his mind. Also, this Ten of Wands is also telling me at this moment in time, the karmic is overloading Divine Masculine with their wants. Divine masculine feels so stuck in his Carmidian utopia. Yeah. Divine masculine realize that he ain't the only cat in the picture. There's a bobcat as well. Yeah. He was the domesticated pussy, but there is outside pussy fighting for the same comic. Divine Masculine is now realizing with the Two of Swords energy, this is Moon and Libra energy, that he has to communicate how he's truly feeling, what he's really understanding of this third party situation that he's finding himself in. Yes, I said it, third party. The karmic has a side piece. Mm -hmm. Divine Masculine is realizing that he can no longer put off making a decision that is affecting his future. This is a waxing moon here. Divine Masculine wants a new beginning. Divine Masculine is ready to make a head over heart decision. Because he's going through, like I said, this is a seven and a two, goes to a nine of swords. He's going through a lot of anxiety. He is tiptoeing on those eggshells. Why is Divine Masculine stuck in that situation? Could it, hold on a minute, let me look to me. Nary a one pentacle out here. Nary a one. Way down deep in the middle of the jungle, um bongo, um bongo. He ain't got no money. His money's funny. Carnivorous virus is rampant and he's stuck with the comic who has a side piece. I think he needs this in this sugar more than I do. Mm-hmm. How the comic feels, how divine masculine is feeling about the comic. Divine masculine did not understand or appreciate the risk that he was putting himself into. He was brought into that, that situation as a promises fool. A promises fool. A hijat. A prakala. Mm -hmm. Divine Masculine is fully realizing now the easiest way with the easiest person or so he thought it's not worked out it's not working out and all of, he's finding the comic to be extremely deceptive she lied just because she can she or he they lie the lies the lies the lies that they told is being told to them on a daily basis yes he feels that he's been bold with a betrayer, a blessing blocker, a waster of his time. He sees the comic as extremely deceptive and sneaky. Good God, page of cups in the reverse. Hey, hey, chapter, verse, some too. Hey, anyway, 
And like I was saying, this page of cups in your verse is fully understanding how vindictive this karmic partner is. This person, he knows that this person, he knows because he's getting it live and direct. Okay? He did not tap into his intuition before he stepped into this situation. A situation where he was being offered over indulgences. A situation that he's trying to turn his back on. Divine masculine is trying to face his fears. Whether it was a sexual addiction, codependency, a place to stay. <laughs> he realized he made a big fucking mistake. His life is a catastrophe. As I was saying, Divine Masculine is sitting in the broken dreams that was promised to him by a cheating scoundrel, a scumbag. Divine Masculine is realizing that what brought him to this position in life at this moment in time was his unaddressed childhood wounds, his inner child wounds. Wounds that he did not deal with, which he did not tap into his intuition to show him the way. Divine Masculine did not fix his inner child wounds before going into this situation and the karmic capitalized on that. Divine Masculine is dealing with somebody who is extremely immature, either they're younger than him or he's younger than them. This person is immature. Divine Masculine has walked upon his dark night of the soul. Five of Cups. He's fully understanding and realizing that the karmic was emotion, was manipulating his emotions. Okay? The five and one goes to a six. Divine Masculine's mind is firmly on somebody in the past. Somebody who he was confused about. See, the divine mass, the arm comic drowning in the back. He couldn't give a fit knock or a fancy fuck. Drown, bitch! Drown! You confuse me! <laughs> What's currently blocking divine master at this moment in time? We have the nine of cups in the reverse. This is Jupiter as well as Pisces energy. Divine masculine is extremely unhappy. He's hating himself right about now. Hating himself for his controlling and narcissistic, narcissistic behavior in a situation that he left somebody drowning. Could he have been divine feminine? I wonder. Divine Femmes, I know you're here. Listen in. Get some juice, maybe some wine. Pause the tape, I'll still be here. Go ahead, boo. Yes. Energy is blocking Divine Masculine during these trying times. What did I say? The Empress, Divine Feminine. His mind is on you. Divine Masculine is stuck in his dark night of the soul during these trying times where he is quarantined with the karmic. I would rather stand naked in the rain with pins in my eyes than be quarantined with a karmic in these trying times. God only knows what he's doing. Hey. Could be drugs, could be alcohol. He definitely ain't doing somebody else. His mind is firmly on Divine Feminine. He's seen Divine Feminine as abundant. He's seen Divine Feminine turn her back on situations and filling up her own two of cups. Yes. More on this Divine Feminine. Yeah, Divine Feminine, he understands, okay, let me get this straight. Divine F Masculine knows that Divine Feminine is no longer seeing him as her wish fulfillment. She has no more emotion to offer to the public. 
She sees divine masculine as a broken dream, a broken promise, a waste of time, and used goods, as well as being abusive. A whole plethora. She has your frail divine masculine. Also with this king of cups in the reverse. This is also telling us, right, that divine masculine regrets being emotionally immature and controlling. This is also a situation with the king of cups in reverse. They could have been raping that, that relationship between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Some of these people feel that just because you're in a relationship with them, they can have sex with you whenever they like. No. No means no. No matter who or what the involvement is. Divine Masculine is realizing that Divine Feminine is extremely withdrawn because she sees him for who and what he truly is. One on the final outcome, we have the Emperor. This is Aries energy in the reverse for Divine Masculine. On this emperor in reverse, because this is telling us, right, that divine masculine feels like he's living with someone or he is being excessively controlling. This person has a lack of discipline. Divine masculine, if you have children, you are an absentee father. What have you done during this virus to make sure that your progeny can eat, has water, can wipe their ass? <coughs> Stop blocking my throat chakra. I'm only trying to tell you business. I eat. Anyway. One on this reverse emperor. We have the devil card. This is Capricorn energy in the upright. This is telling us that divine final outcome is that he's still going to be bound to the karmic because as we said he has no money so this is telling me that divine masculine is prepared to continue with this codependent situation even though hellfire and powder house is raining down on his head this is the tower as well as mars energy the situation between him and the karmic is over it is done finito divine masculine is fed up of her his or her controlling ways divine masculine is realizing that this ace of pentacles that the karmic came with was really a cockroach, a dung beetle, a pile of steaming shit. I told you many times my Phoenicians, the Hierophant is my God card. God is raining retribution down on their asses. They are on bended knees. Divine Masculine realized that he was Prakala for the villagers that he set up home with. Prakala, bring my benefits! How this karmic is feeling right now, they're wanting to take action. What are they taking action towards? We also have the Four of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? The Six of Pentacles is represented by, um, moon as well as Taurus energy. Divine, the karmic is up to their, their, their caboose in debt. And they ain't sharing a goddamn thing with this divine masculine. They don't, in fact, they don't want shit from this divine masculine. They're looking at their missed opportunity. The karmic is looking at the missed opportunity with the person who is their divine masculine. I know this sounds a little bit confusing, but the karmic has their own divine masculine. Who are they in separation from? This divine masculine which the karmic has, whom they are still sleeping with, is breadcrumbing them. But the karmic is now feeling dissatisfied with everything as a whole. She wants everybody's head off, including divine masculine. Divine masculine is paying for whatever the karmic is going through with their assigned divine masculine. This got me so confused that I start clarifying with its own cards. 
Must be a reason why. How does divine how the karmic feels about divine masculine in time? They feel as though the divine masculine has many options. They also feel that divine masculine is confused. They feel as though that divine masculine still has his road colored glasses on and they're gonna try and keep them in the fold by any means necessary with the strength card in reverse. This is about uh, the karmic using conflict and then punani, yes, punani to try and heal a situation, a situation that they do not want to end the death card Scorpio energy. They don't want no transformation or change from this situation, okay? With the death card in reverse, this is telling me this comic is extremely codependent on both, on both of these dudes that she's doing, that she's diddling. She's extremely codependent and she is immobile from separating the two and from moving on from either one of them. What did I just say? Did I not just say third party situation alert? Yay! She's going to keep this situation going. Yeah. The star card in reverse. The star card is represented by um, Leo energy. Okay? This is telling me that, that the karmic hopes that Divine Masculine remains blind to the truth. But Divine Masculine already understands. He's had some kind of download. He's been... He's been um, notified that there is three of them in this group and one of them wasn't approved by him. Mm -hmm. I need some more sugar. I need some more sugar. God bless Pearl. Mm -hmm. So good. I'm all fine. Sorry, I know but I'm cooking my food in my mouth. But good God, look what presents we are in. Mm-hmm. Anyway, like I was saying, at this moment in time, this karmic is trying to appease this imbalance that's going on between her and divine her or him and divine masculine. They are fully understanding that they're not getting what they expected from either of the situations. Because it seems like both of these dudes, both of them, gonna fuck off. I mean, move away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's blocking the karmic at this moment in time? We have the devil card in the reverse. The karmic is trying to, arm. Um, she's trying to play possum at this moment in time. Yeah? They're trying to tiptoe and avoid conflicts because I said they are quarantined with each other. And she still needs to get out to bring the panani or the penis to her divine masculine. So how does that work? I don't know. Tense times around there. Tense times. Anyway, yes. She understands that divine masculine is trying to release these bonds, but she knows that he doesn't have the pentacle. She knows. That divine masculine sees her as extremely superficial. We have the six of cups in reverse. Okay. This is sun and Virgo energy. Sorry, Scorpio energy. Okay. This is telling me that. This is telling me that. That, that the karmic is blocked by lack of growth in any of the situations. Because she was indecisive and pulled too many people into the situation. This is also telling me with the, the um, Six of Cups in reverse, this person, this karmic is not a good parent. It's like they release, they release all attachment and responsibility to their children at all times. Good God, I hope their children survive this trying times that we're going through because this bitch, your best adult, is not helping them. And that is what's creating a block in their life. With the Seven of Swords in reverse, that's two different decks. Once in the upright for him and once in the reverse for the karmic. 
This is telling me that the, the karmic is quite happy to stay stuck in this unhappy situation. This is moon energy as well as Aquarius. They're not going to communicate their true feelings around the situation. They fully understand that Divine Masculine wants to leave the situation. Divine Masculine is seen them as a blessing blocker. But they're following their devilish energy. Yeah. Whatever they're trying to do, they're not going to get their wish fulfillment. That tower will fall. Oh, 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 oh. it's going to fall. Too much overindulgence. She is trying to use carnal things to keep Divine Masculine in this situation. In the fight with the comic's final outcome, we have the Page of Pentacles. This is about a pair of offering hands. This is about also the fledgling stages of making a new lucrative foundation somewhere else. She's going to stand as the blockade. She's going to do everything in her, she or he, to keep Divine Masculine in that situation because she still wants that one pentacle that he has. Yeah, the world card is fixed energy. Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo. Okay? She doesn't she does not welcome the ending of the situation because she wants to keep all of it cloaked. Because she wanted this situation to be written down in stone. She wanted it to be um a marriage, a permanent, a permanency. She wanted Prakala to stay. Okay? She's going to continue to do whatever she can to keep Divine Masculine stuck and stagnant in her situation. Even though she is holding on to the past and a failing relationship, she or he is going to keep her alive. The Three of One shows up with Sun Energy as well as Aries Energy. She's going to continue, continue to try and control the situation and to zap and deplete Divine Masculine's energy. For their back to front 11 11. Let the tower fall. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. God is just looking at this and like, you two fools. You two fools. Oh. I'm going to get some FPs up on this. I was even going to be doing. Oh my gosh. I was meant to be doing the arm. Um, the clarifying with my mini decks but divine led, led me to just use each respective deck to clarify itself divine does not want me to waste my cards that i've blessed and shuffled in the name of the universe on these two hijats any final advice for the karmic during these trying times You lose whatever plot or plan you are scheming. It gonna lose. Because what? You have not gone to divine um, spiritual quarantine. Okay? Okay. You are trying to pretend to divine masculine that you are not his enemy. But he knows that you are unfaithful, disloyal and a total all around scumbag. You feel as though you know your worth. How can you know your worth when you are sleeping with two people, not caring about your children, just about yourself? Divine Masculine is not accepting whatever you're offering right now. Oh my God. Look at all of these cards that just fell on the floor. Look at this. My Phoenicians, all the cards that fell on the floor, this is standing up, backpedaling and pussy popping. That's what they're doing right now. And what's right next to it? Divine Masculine. I told you, she's doing everything to try and keep him in her, in her shiznay. Told you, he or she. Let me go to my other deck. Because this can't be backpedaling and pussy popping with their with their she, bloody procrastinator cheating chitara caca caca anyway 
Any final advice for Divine Masculine during these trying times? You deserve love. God will love you still. Let the bitches go. Okay. Divine. Anything more from the FP for these divine masculines? The comics, comic is going to continue to give you whatever you like to keep you trapped. Stagnant and stuck because they want your what? One pentecale. Oh, oh, oh. They want your one pentecale. But Divine Masculine, you are fully understanding. It's too little, it's too late. How does it feel to be cheated on? How does it feel? Divine is still telling you to keep going. I don't know if it means keep going in a situation. I don't know if it means keep going and trying to save and make two pentacles before Kami, this Carmidian gets it. I don't know. Okay, divine is telling you to level up divine masculine. You have all the answers now. Pull yourself from this quagmire. On that note, Oh, yes. That was the Divine Masculine and the Garnet. Read during these trying times. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much for your donations and bookings. If you still are requiring a personal read from me, all of my information is in the description box below. Please leave comments as well because it does help out the other Phoenicians. And as I always say, from the ashes, baby, namaste.